Good morning, grade 9. How are you? Hope you are fine. So in the previous class, we started the Sound of Music Part 2, Ustad Bismillah Khan. And we learned from the first four paragraphs, we learned what makes the difference between Panji and Shahnai. And why the Emperor Aurangzeb totally banned it because of his unpleasant sound. Isn't it? And we came to know in the third paragraph, as a boy in his childhood, how he spent his time going to nearby uh, Viharji temples, playing there, okay, and singing the Bhojpuri Chaita. This is all we have learned. And now today we can go through still more paragraphs. Fifth paragraph to eighth paragraphs. Okay, let's continue. This young boy who Ustad Bismillah Khan, okay, this young boy whose background is a well known family of musicians, and the grandfather and also the father, every one of them, the great legendary musicians, came from that background. What happened? This boy, the young boy, took to music early in life. Took to music in the sense, get sense to the music, get attracted. Get devoted also, we can use the word. Took to music at his early life. At the age of three, when his mother took him to his maternal uncle's house in Benares. Now it is called as Varanasi. At the age of three, when his mother had taken him to his maternal uncle's house. Okay, at that time in Benares, what happened? Bismillah was fascinated watching his uncle's practice, the Shahnai. He was very much fascinated. Even today, see, when a musical concert is going on, isn't it? At present, Western music or classical music or somewhat, when they are playing, we admire them. We just give our heart to listen. Same scenario happened at the age of three of Bismillah Khan. When his pattern uncle is practicing, he was fascinated. He was fond of love with the Shahnai at the age of three. Soon Bismillah Khan started accompanying his uncle. So what happened? He started accompanying, means following whom? His uncle it seems. Ali Baks to the Vishnu temple of Banaras where Baks was employed to play the Shahnai. Ali Baks where he used to go to the Vishnu temple daily where he was employed there to play the Shahnai it seems. Ali Baks would play the Shahnoi and Bismillah would sit captivated for hours on end. See, Ali Baks, who is employed in the Vishnu temple to play there. Okay. As he was an employee, he used to play. He is playing in the temple. Along with him, who accompanied? Ustad Ali Khan. Bismillah Khan here. Okay. So he accompanied and he used to sit captivated, means concentrated. What are we doing now in the class? Now it's no classes, but in the regular core of classes. Teacher will be saying our concentration will be somewhere. Online or the homeschooling is going on. The video will be playing. We will be chatting somewhere. And parents will be scolding naturally. So here captivated means full concentration how he was playing. That concentration okay, will give something success in the future no doubt in it so here what happened he would sit captivated for us not for one hour or two hours like that he used to sit in the same posture okay slowly he started getting lessons 
Slowly he started getting lessons in playing the instrument and would sit practicing throughout the day. At the end in the sense automation long time, long gap. For example, Ali Bugs playing in a Vishnu temple for let us imagine 4 hours. These 4 hours he used to sit along with him, observing the moment how he was playing it, the 7 holes of the Shahar, long pipe tube like thing and how he was making the sound in a rhythmic manner. Everything is being quite observed by Ustad Bismillah Khan. Okay, slowly what happened? He started getting lessons in playing the instrument and would sit practicing throughout the day. Generally, we have, we have mathematics, right? By seeing the video, you can gain anything. I, I think uh, you can, I suppose. But what you have to do, you have to practice. How many times? At least two, two, three, four times if you practice, then you can get command on it. Not only mathematics, English, social, science, what not, everything, all subjects. What we have to do, we should have command on it. Observing, capturing, putting into the mind, recapitulating and then practice. So here, Ustad Bismillah Khan, he started doing the same. He started practicing hours together throughout the day. For years to come, the, the temple of Balaji and Mangalamaya and the banks of Ganga became the young apprentice's favorite haunts where he could practice in solitude. Haunts in the sense, in search of somewhere on banks of Ganges, okay, and Balaji temple, Mangalamaya temple. He used to go to the temple for a peace of mind to play without any disturbance. Hours together he used to play it and he used to practice. The young apprentice. So for example, if a question arises, write a short note on young, young apprentice in the sense, no one is there in the lesson. How can we say young apprentice is who? Ustad Bismillah Khan. Right? So the young apprentice's favorite haunts, searching and favorite places, where he could practice in solitude. Solitude means alone, peace of mind, lonely. See, now the teachers are doing pre-recorded videos. How they will do? With full of sound. No, no. Nothing disturbance. Peace of mind, calmness, alertness, with pure sound, with high pitch of voice, everything, right? In the same manner, when he was practicing, the young apprentice, who is that? He is none other than Ustad Bismillah Khan. Okay. The flowing waters of Ganga inspired him to improvise and invent ragas that were earlier considered to be beyond the range of Shahnai. So sometimes when you are Rome, you are, it should be as a Roman. Okay. So the place also makes you prominent. If you are in school, that is different. The way you have to if you're home, that is different. When you're hostel or when you uh, somewhere in the market or in uh, other places, everywhere your behavior will change, no doubt. Here, his choice of places, what are they? Balaji temple, Mangalamaya temple, at the same time the bank of Ganges, it's Ganga. So there itself, the waves, the soothing atmosphere, the environment makes him to make tunes, different new tunes, different ragas from Shahnai Sims. Okay? Practice makes man perfect. No doubt in it. Slowly, when, the, when these days are going on, at the age of 14, Bismillah accompanied his uncle to the Allahabad Music Conference at Sims. Bismillah accompanied. Who got? Ali Bugs got some offer to play. Where? In Allahabad Music Conference. So, he started moving along with him. Who moved? Bismillah Khan also accompanied his uncle it seems. At the end of his recital, Ustad Fayaz Khan patted the young boy's back and said, What happened it seems at the end of the concert, where in the Allahabad the music conference there, he was patted. Patted in the sense, patted means just doing like this. Pat, this is called patting at back. Oh, well done my boy, like this. Okay. Who patted Fayaz Khan at Sims? Patted the young boy's back and said, 
work hard and you shall make it not only for us can your parents your teachers your well wishers everyone will say the same word work hard you can achieve it success is yes with the opening of the all india radio in lucknow in 1938 so it's very clear that in 1938 all india radio is opened in lucknow for the first time okay when it opened in 1938 it given a break to bismillah khan and sims all india radio in lucknow in 1938 came bismillah khan's big break he soon became an often heard shahnai player on radio he often often player shahnai musician on radio every time it sims so he got number of listeners music lovers that is a platform what is a first platform he got all india radio in lucknow in 1938 when india gained independence when we you know 15th august 1947 bismillah khan became the first indian to greet the nation with his shahnai what a golden opportunity he has when india became freedom from british people isn't it in 1947 august 15th bismillah khan got the first opportunity for what to greet the nation with his shahnai sims he poured his heart out into the raga coffee from the red fort to the to an audience which included pandit jawahar nehru who later gave his famous trust with the destiny speech so it soothed the hearts of the prime minister the first prime minister jawahar lal nehru by the soothing music given by ustad bismillah khan with his shahnai he was highly impressed and he has given a wonderful message from red fort it seems at that time see how wonderful it is now let us start the eighth paragraph of page 23 Bismillah Khan has given a number of performances where national wide and international wide it seems he has given many memorable performances both in india and abroad his first trip abroad was to afghanistan where king zahir shah was so taken in by the maestro that he gifted him priceless persian carpets and other souvenirs what he has given priceless persian carpets and other souvenirs it seems taken in by what's the meaning of taken in by here attracted or charmed by the meaning was given in the right column and souvenirs in the mem- in memory of a person or event or place that meaning also given in the right column things given in memory and now come to the next what is it The king of Afghanistan was not the only one to be fascinated with Bismillah's music. Means not only the king of uh, Afghanistan, but most of them were highly impressed of his uh, memorable melodious music. Film director Vijay Bhatt was so impressed. Who is he? Film director Vijay Bhatt was so impressed by the music of Shahnai Sims. And then what happened here? when he was impressed at a festival that he named a film after the instrument called ganj uti shahnai the famous film director vijay bhat named of the named after the instrument or it is ganj uti shahnai it became a uh, what i can say a tremendous hit a famous hit it seems the film was hit and one of the bismillah khan's compositions dil ka khilona hai toot gaya what is it uh, very good number a good song this composition dil ka khilona hai toot gaya turned out to be nation wide chart buster okay chart buster in the sense of a card breaker super hit super duper hit you can say despite this huge success in the celluloid world celluloid world in the sense Filmy bird, cinema bird. Bismillah Khan's ventures 
means next process or next programs so bismillah khan's ventures in film music were limited to two these are the days when people gets one uh, what i can say one chance to go to a movie industry film industry they'll jump like anything and they'll go and they'll try their success there and they'll try their uh, their uh, the journey of their success but now here bismillah khan what his uh, film journey limited to two only two movies one is just now we have discussed isn't it gan jyoti shahnai and the second movie is from kannada language sanadi appanna we can see here vijay bats gan jyoti shahnai and vikram srinivas's kannada venture what is it sanadi appanna i just can't come to terms with the artificiality and glamour of the film world he says with emphasis what he said means he doesn't like being artificial hero means in the movies we'll be seeing hero will be coming and he'll be fighting with 5 or 10 or 20 or 100 how can how can it be possible in the real life so reality far away from reality so ustad bismillah khan says say says that uh, he can just uh, follow the unreality it seems so he said that artificiality glamour in the film world live music live performance live attraction live audience live praises that he likes most okay today we have discussed fifth sixth seventh and eighth paragraphs okay that's all for today and in the next class we can continue the remaining paragraphs thank you have a nice day